Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, and welcome to our final reflection of the season of Advent. It's often been said that Jesus is the reason for the season. One of the reasons why it's been said that Jesus is the reason for the season is because there's so much of celebration. There's so much of festivity. There's so much of noise that in the midst of all this, we might forget the reason why we celebrate. And that's why it's been said that Jesus is the reason for the season. But I like to elaborate that phrase a little bit more. The heart of the human problem is the problem of the human heart. I repeat, the heart of the human problem is the problem of the human heart. Ever since Adam and Eve disobeyed God, the world plunged into sin and darkness. And everyone, therefore, who's born into this world is born into sin and darkness. But Christ, who came into this world, who was born into this world, came to take us away from sin and darkness. And that's why St. Paul so beautifully writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 21 and following. For our sake, God made Christ, who knew no sin, so that you and I might become the righteousness of God. For our sake, Christ became poor, but being born in a manger, so that you and I might become rich in God. For our sake, Christ came into this world as a helpless baby. The Almighty God, the Omnipotent God, became defenseless and vulnerable as a helpless baby, born in a manger, so that you and I might become the very power and glory of God. St. Athanasius of Alexandria beautifully puts it, God, who was divine, became human so that we humans might become divine. And that's the reason why we say Jesus is the reason for the season. What can we do during the season of Christmas? How can we make the season of Christmas special? One of the things that we do during the season of Christmas is the giving of gifts. It's a reminder of the greatest gift that God gave for each one of us, the gift of his only son. As John 3.16 beautifully says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. And so every time we give gifts during the season of Christmas is a sharing in the very generosity of God. I'm sure already gifts are packed beneath the Christmas tree. Some have even opened their gifts. But think for a moment about the less fortunate in your neighborhood and share your gifts with those who cannot give you gifts in return and make their world beautiful during the season of Christmas. Amidst all the gifts that you give, the most beautiful gift that you can give is the gift of your presence. Make yourself available to your loved ones and to those around you. And that's the gift God gave us, the gift of the presence of Christ who became Emmanuel God with us. So step away from the virtual world and enter into the real world of people who are around you. Step away from your laptops, your cell phones, your smartphones, your iPads and iPhones. 
I know you got to send a lot of messages and wishes to your people around the world, but connect with people next to you. Spend quality time together as you have your Christmas meal. Have some fun. Spread some cheer and laughter. And most important of all, give your loved ones the gift of your presence. And finally, my dear friends, there's a gift that you can give to yourself. The gift of forgiveness. Yes. That's the most beautiful gift that you can give during the season of Christmas. It's been said that God gives and forgives while man gets and forgets. So take a moment today and think about the people who have hurt you and give them during the season of Christmas the gift of forgiveness. When Christ became human, he came to reconcile us once again back to God. He gave us the gift of forgiveness. And by giving this gift of forgiveness to those who have hurt you, you are giving yourself the greatest gift of peace and joy which this world cannot give. Wish you all a very happy Christmas. Thank you for journeying with me throughout the season of Advent. It has been an absolute joy and pleasure breaking the word of God for you throughout the season of Advent. I'm really very grateful to Brother Sanu Alanko who has been helping me in editing both my audio and video talks. Wish you all once again a happy Christmas. God bless you.